Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Final Fantasy VI Advance. Today we're going to the self figure okay, but before that, we rearranged our party a little bit. I put Egger all the way down here. Why? If we get a back attack, a preemptive attack, the bottom person on the list will go first. And because he's really, really strong with his tools, he's going to be on the bottom. Uh, Locke's the only one in front. And that's about it. I did put on the Mithril Sword, but I think I did that last episode. I also gave him the Mithril Shield because he is in the front, so he will be taking the most damage. Hello. King Edgar, where are you headed, sir? Through the cave and eastward to South Rigoro. We'll then make for the Returner's headquarters in the north. Return to the castle and pass the word along. Holy shit. I just realized something. I don't think that's right. Yeah, I'll try to remember to go over that in a little, a little later. Recovery spring. If you need to use that spring whenever you're low on health. Now, this is another area where the treasures will be better a lot later in the game. So I'm actually not going to be picking anything up. I will show you where everything is. That's that's going to be the random encounters for that place, this place. Edgar uses auto crossbow. Everyone dies. Our first treasure is going to be over here. And kind of just kind of see it right there. That's an ether. Uh, again, it will be something better later on. Uh, some more new enemies. Actually, I think that's it. Is this it for the new enemies in the area? I think that is. Oh, you guys lived. Now it's time to be purified with fire. If she can ever take her turn. There you go. They're not really weak to fire. I don't know the hell they might be, but... Uh, oh, we learned the Poison Us spell. I like to call it the Antidote spell. I actually think it's called the Antidote spell in the uh, original translation. I don't know. Man, Edgar's crossbow so good. Over there is another Aether. Again, will be something better later on. Now on this side, all the way over here, see that? That's a Phoenix down. Again, will be something better in the near future. So we're just gonna leave it there, like good treasure hunters. The beginning of the game, you'll probably notice if you're playing along, the beginning of the game is pretty easy. As long as you're paying attention, it will be easy. Now the game itself is generally not that hard, but there are points in the game where it just sort of gets more challenging. Excuse me. Come through. Come through. Oh, no. You're walking through me. That's not fair. I wanted to stop you. Ha <laughs> I. You're not going to talk to me? All right. Fine. Now, around the town, there are hidden items in crates and barrels. These items will be better in the future. So ignore them for now. You can gain all kinds of ability by equipping relics. These shoes double my walking speed. Also lowers your intelligence, apparently. Relics, grant you over. Eh, we don't care. Oh, you're actually just going to tell us, huh? All right. Sprint shoes double your walking speed. A gauntlet lets you hold the weapon with two hands. A knight's code makes your shield others in combat. Dragoon boots allow you to perform jump. I like how you tell them they're telling you ones that you're not going to get for a while either. Silly. I mean, sprint shoes and knight's code we can actually just buy here. I'm actually just going to buy a sprint shoes for future use. Uh, star pendants you can buy. I'm probably going to buy one. And I'll buy one silver spectral. Again... Uh, a lot of the abilities we're going to be using is not based off our accuracy, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, other than that, we're not going to buy that. Let's go up to the bar. This is not the bar. This is the inn. I think it's one of the inns that don't have a clock in it either. Hey. How's it going? Going good? All right, you're boring.
God, it's so good. Dot, dot, dot. Right, ignore us and maybe we'll just disappear. Back off, Locke. That guy looks familiar. Yeah, that's him. Also, where'd my accent go? He comes and goes like the wind, swearing allegiance to no one. Hidden behind his wintry gaze lies a face known to none who live. Shadow. That's Shadow. I don't know why he's Australian now. He's an assassin. <laughs> He'd kill his best friend for the right price. Guess we better stay clear of him. Hi! No? Okay. Puppy. Leave us. The dog eats strangers. Alright, alright. Fine, we'll leave. Duncan's been training his boy Vargas, along with his other students. He's always grumbling about the kid never seems to make any progress. Ah. Not like his kid's a failure. Alright. So. Remember this part right there. See that? Pretty good, right? I remember that for later. So, we heard about Duncan. Let's go see his wife. Kid, get out of my way or I will kill you like you belong in Xenoverse. Not Xenoverse, Hysteria. Hi. My husband, Duncan, is a martial artist. He's famous even in Figaro to the north. He took his students to Mount Colts for some meditation and training. So he probably won't be back for a while. Seems fair. Alright, well, there's not much we can do here. Like, at all. We can buy some stuff. Oh, actually, there is something we can do. We can get some good relics right now and some good items. But I'm actually not going to take them. Uh, in the... I'll... I'll show you where they are in, in the, when we actually will take them. Um, but for right now, it's not... They don't really impact you that uh, that well, so or that much. So I'm just going to not take him. I'll buy a cotton robe and a kempogi and four of those. Sure. And two of those. Go me. Just buy the equipment. Edgar and uh, Terror aren't going to be... <laughs> she doesn't even have a weapon. Optimize. Optimize? Optimize. Yeah. They're not going to be attacking, so I'm not really too concerned about their weapons. We'll get better weapons as we go. I will upgrade their equipment regularly, like uh, weapon-wise, but equipment-wise, it's where it's at. So for now, we can take a chocobo. I might as well show you guys how it is to take a chocobo. Any gill for a chocobo ride? Sure. Let me teach you how to ride a chocobo. We've already ridden one. But press A or up to go forward. Stare by pressing left or right. And B to dismount. Careful, the birds will return to its pen as soon as you leave the saddle. Except for the one from Figaro. Who actually just ran off into the desert to die. Kind of sad now that you think about it. Kind of a waste of 80 guilt because we're just going up here. Boink. See ya. I'll get lost on the way back. Hmm. What's that smell? It's these flowers. These flowers. He's always liked them. Sleep in the bed. Perfect. These dishes. They're just like the ones he always used. What? How would he have them? This tea. It was his favorite. This poop bucket had a potion in it. And I think that's it. That it? That seems it. Could Seven be living here? No, that would be too much of a coincidence. I mean, we just learned about Seven like an episode ago. Hey. Do you, ha do you ha happen to know where I could find the man who lives here? Sure do. He left a couple days ago as soon as he heard Master Duncan had been killed. Ooh, dun dun dun! Head up into the mountains. 
They say Duncan's son Vargas is missing too. I don't like it one bit. All right, see ya. I'm gonna take this lettuce and this turnip. I can't take them. I'm just wasting time. All right, to get to Mount Colts, we're just gonna go to the right. Let's head into Mount Colts. Now this is sort of our first real dungeon of the game. The enemies here are actually kind of strong. Uh, there's some good equipment. There's an end boss. And yeah, like this is the first time we're actually gonna have some trouble. Uh, these guys, they are immune, not immune, but they absorb poison. And they can actually cause a bit of damage too, so be careful with them. And they drop po potions. Not, did I say they could be po potioned or poisoned? They can't be poisoned, because they can absorb poison. I went the wrong way. There we go. Yeah, there's nothing down here, but I always come down here to see that lovely treasure chest. Look at it. It actually took me a long time to realize how to get that treasure chest. When I realized you could just go down here. Ah, oh, man, I was so freaking mad because it's like it's one of those hidden in plain sight bullcrap. And it's a really good weapon for Locke. Who I may be switching off from calling Locke and Locky because for the longest time as a child, I used to call them like Lo Locky. Like Loki, but uh, I corrected myself eventually. If you start getting low on health, just have Terra uh, cast cure. Another hidden passage over here to an item that's not fantastic. It's a Gigas Glove. It's all right. It doesn't hurt to have, but a lot of the times, for the most part, you're not gonna have a party that doesn't really use it. Like right now. If we gave it to Edgar or Terra, it would be pretty useless because they're not attacking. They're using their specials. So I gave it to Locke because, well, he is attacking. And finally, we get some new enemies. Yeah, he's attacking. He's the one that needs it the most. Uh, these guys shouldn't be too big of a problem. Now that we've gained a few levels being here, we're kind of already stronger than everything in this area. Uh, you got a crossbow. I think we'll be able to kill... Well, not all of them, but the other one. If Terra runs out of uh, MP, just bring her up to the front row and start having her attack. That's, I mean, all you can do. You can have her defend as well, if you don't want her to run out of MP. Because you might want a healer. I, I can totally get behind just, like, leaving her defended during... Actually, this should be a new enemy. This is the first time we've been in combat out here. These guys can poison you, so be careful. This guy should be dead, so Terra will save her MP. For the most part, too, enemies will be dead before Terra gets a chance to attack. She's not the fastest, and she's up at front, so when we get preemptive attacks, she's going to be the last one to get a turn. We get a tent, which I probably won't be using. One of the good parts in this game where you, is you don't have to worry about characters' MP other than, like, Terra's. Early on, anyways. So, when we get to a save point, I don't need to use a need to use a tent, I just need to cure them and then use a sleeping bag on Terra or an ether. Sleeping bags are cheaper. And ethers are a lot more useful when used, like, when you desperately need them in battle. See that shadowy figure just leaping off the mountainside like some sort of badass. And these guys are new. Uh, these guys can blind you, but I think they'll be dead before they get a chance to. Well, one of them will still be alive, but Locke should finish it off. I need some levels all around. We're actually not high level, we're actually kind of low level compared to what I'm normally at. Probably because I'm not, I don't have auto dash on. All right. I'll save up, make sure you save. You don't want to come out here and die by accident and be teleported all the way to the bottom of Mount Cults. It's not a long dungeon at all. Hell, I think the most time I've spent on it is trying to get my goddamn pen to work when I'm writing into this notebook about my time cuts for random battles. All right, so I was poisoned in that battle. Let me show you a trick. So you could come in here 
and you could remove poison with the poison a spell, or you could come into your inventory and select an antidote. But I'm gonna go to my relics, equip the star pendant, come out, poison is gone, goodbye. Save money on consumables. Remember, shop smart, shop as smart. Yeah, that little bug, I guess, has been in the game since the Nintendo, Super Nintendo. Though in terms of bugs, that's nothing compared to some of the stuff you were able to do in the original Super Nintendo version. Hell, a lot of the status effects didn't even work. Like, blind didn't work in that game because evasion was broken. Like, they, the whole physical evasion stat was just straight up broken. They tied it to magical evasion. Oi. Anyways, how are we doing on health? Pretty... Don't use that one. Pretty good, it looks like. All right. Because I'm fully healed now. Hello. Sabin sent you, didn't he? Hiya! Who are you? Sabin? Is he here? You were the one sneaking around us the whole way up here, weren't you? And if I was? Hmm. <laughs> well, it doesn't really matter who you are. I have got no plans to surrender. Woe was the day you met me. It will be the last day of your lives. All right, it is boss time against Vargas and Winnie the Pooh. So we can't, well, we can steal from the bears, I guess. But HP wise, the bears have 360. Vargas has a lot more. He has 11,000. Now you're probably like, holy shit, Kronos. That's quite the jump in difficulty. You're not wrong. But don't worry, there's a way around it. We'll get to that point when it happens. I should probably heal up with Terra though, cause if he just spams Gale Cut, we're in for a rough time. Though they really, they can't unless, you know, their AI script gets broken. So Terra, come around. We don't actually need you. I do want Locke to steal. Couldn't steal. So Terra, you heal. I'm not gonna damage him just yet. Couldn't steal. All right, one more. Oh, God. Come on, what's the matter? Don't, don't punch me multiple times. Hey, we got a potion. All that for a potion. There's a chance that you can steal a claw from him that is a weapon for a future character. It's not that great. We're not going to be using attacks with him anyways. Uh, so just attack him a few times. Uh, once you get him down, I think like a thousand then the way to beat him easily will be introduced. I should really heal. Enough of this. I'll send you all to the great beyond. That's enough, Vargas. Ah, if it isn't Sabin. Why, Vargas? Why did you kill Master Duncan? How could you kill your own father? The fool snubbed me, his only son. He chose you as his successor. That's not true, our master. It's true and you know it. It's written in that ugly snare across your face. He wanted you to be his successor, not me. He knew you had the most potential. I'm sick of listening to your lies. I've got far more than just potential. Why don't you see for yourself? Blizzard Fist. Yeah, no, yeah, it's pretty good. It's not bad anyways. Ah, Sappin. My father was right to see so much in you. I guess there's no avoiding this. Fate made us train together. Now fate will send you to your doom. Doom Fist. Well, oh, that's cheating. Get ready for your meet your beloved master. Oh, I'm Vargas. I like the cheat. I got Doomfist. So, the key to beating him quickly 
That's why I hold back, Seven. Your time's almost up. You're not wrong. Just attack him a few times. Actually, we don't need to do this, but I want to show you what happens when you attack him a few times. I actually don't think Vargas does anything to you. Oh, no, he does attack. All right. I think I think he sh there should be, like, a prompt coming up. Right, Seven? Prompt's going to come up, right, buddy? Time to put an end to this. I need to use a blitz technique, like the master taught me. Select blitz, then left, right, left, and then press A. How to use blitz? Choose blitz, then press A. Well, input the command, then press A. When the cursor appears, enter the command for your technique. Using the control pad, press left, right, left, again. Finally, press A to perform the technique. If you make a mistake, nothing will happen. Be careful. Select br blitz, left, right, left, then press A. My master taught me weird things, Vargas. Weird, unspeakable things. Like left, right, left. Don't, don't kill Sabin. I would hate to actually get a game over for a joke. All right, fine. You want to play that way, Vargas? You want to just kill me when I'm trying to show off the little tutorial prompt? I see how it is. That's totally cool. How about instead of doing that, I just wait till I get my turn and be like, hey, asshat, it's time for you to die. You already learned that pitiful technique. Vargas, if only you hadn't been so consumed by pride and cheating with Gale Cut. And for some reason, he dies. Even having 9,000 more HP left to go. Seven. Brother. Brother. You're his twin brother. His brother? At first I thought you were another one of Vargas's bears. Which brings up, why did he have bears? <laughs> like, was he an animal tamer? You thought I was a bear? I guess I'll uh, take that as a compliment. Anyways, Edgar, what are you doing here? We're on our way to Saber Mountain. To the Returners hideout, no doubt. So, the whales are finally turning. I've been watching from a distance, hoping the world come to its senses. The way things were going, I was afraid Figaro would end up as a puppet state. A means of striking back has presented itself. There will be more, no more playing lapdog to the Empire. I'm through with that act. Think a bear like me could be of any help? Yeah, probably. You join us, Sabin? Give your brother a hug! I think Duncan would rest easier knowing his training helped bring peace to the world. Well then, let's get going. Now there is a cutscene back at Figaro, which I might show off next time. It requires going all the way back to Figaro, Figaro. So, as you can understand, after that <sighs> surprising death, well, we'll just keep this battle in. After that surprising death, Spitzers can show up here, or whatever they're called, Spiritures. That's surprising. I did not know that. Anyways, yeah, that death totally, totally was not expecting Vargas to actually kill me because. I don't think that's ever actually happened before in the past. It's actually been a while though since I've seen that little tutorial prompt though, because every other time I play the game, as soon as Sabin jumps in, I'm like, all right, let's do left, right, left, A. It's done, right? Yeah, so it's, it was shocking. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you head to my video section, check out some of my other content and see if it's to your liking. 
once again, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day.